Good evening. My name is Richard Cunningham, and I am hosting for your daily news. Now, in today's news media, the number one movie in box office is officially been named Rattle. And that movie has made $95 million. How does that make you feel? How does that make me feel? I don't give a damn. I really don't. Now, to my left, I have Mr. Trio. All in his phone. If he get his ass on a couch, I will show you his face. And to my right, I have Mr. Candyman, a.k.a. Ghost Mandy. And he's on the floor doing God knows what. Probably playing with himself, probably tying his shoe, probably taking his clothes off, probably molesting my flow. I don't know. It's getting hot in here. He said it's getting hot, which is why I took my shirt off. No homo. Take off all your clothes. Now, also in today's news, repercussions of what Black History Month withholds is Valentine's Day. How do you feel about that? You will never know how I feel about that. Because I am Richard Cunningham. Now, um, let's see what else is going on in the news. The world of drugs. What is your favorite drug? You don't have to tell me. Because I don't want to know. I don't know what my favorite drug is. I'm not going to tell you. Sir, painkiller, cigar, wait. Tennessee, bucka. Everything. I'm all about that very special other person. That VSOP. Mm. Now, what does this year hold for me? You wonder? I tell you. Hobson concert? Tech Nine concert? Lazy Bone concert that most likely I'm, I might not be in, attending, but I'm gonna try to. The UFC fight? And. Probably the Juicy J content. What lurks in my head? You will never know. Super Bowl results? The Broncos suck. They should have never lost that Super Bowl. Illuminati. And Floyd Money Merriweather lost $10.5 million on the game. We're going to turn this segment over to Mr. Power. Oh, no, you ain't. Because he needs to say that shit to the camera one time. Floyd Money Merriweather lost ten point five million dollars on that fucking game. Why the hell you gonna Millions bet? Dollars. Why are you gonna bet that much fucking money on a fucking game? Millions of dollars. Fuck that. Millions of dollars. Fuck that. Millions of dollars. Now, in this next segment, we have Trio with the entertainment. Trio. Or something, but <laughs> you are trio just got a little bit of loss, so we are going to cricket, cricket. We are going to refresh his memory. Trio, yeah, you're doing entertainment news, okay? Tell us what's going on in the world of entertainment. Well, first of all, let's get this discussion out the way. I know y'all heard about um. like the number one talk of anything and everything right about now. You heard about this? Cunningham? I did not. George Zimmerman is going to be in a celebrity boxing match. I heard about that shit. Now, at first, he was supposed to fight the game. And he said, you know what? I think DMX is more of a worthy opponent. Yep. Give it that one more time. So it's like, first of all, why the fuck this nigga George Zimmerman is classified as a celebrity? Okay, there's nothing. First of all, you had to work hard to become a famous person. Grind hard, work you know hard, play hard. I don't recall Ted Bundy being a celebrity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ted Bundy. What the fuck type of shit is that? 
And then, I don't recall and, Renee Zellweger being a celebrity. Renee Zellweger is a celebrity. She's an actress. Okay. <laughs> but well, she didn't do nothing. She's not known for harming someone. She's known for playing with a dildo, me, myself, and Irene. Okay, but, you know, the fact... Anyways, but... <laughs> and 4D batteries. Yeah, it was... <laughs> but... You know what I'm saying? Then Mex said, I'm going to tell you, I might go to jail if I fight that man because I'll, I'll fucking just not go by the box of rules and piss on him. Will you? Close to close to those words, man. First of all, that's... Yo, George... Yeah, I never heard nothing good about um Zimmerman. And the fact that he's in a he's in a picture like this. Like, I'm ready to fight. I've been training. And you know, and, and a lot of people saying they should they, they should just pick the game because DMX is a quote unquote crackhead. I don't know. I'm not gonna talk about that man like that. But I will talk about Zimmer. I ain't seen nothing positive about this man. Fuck him. And why is his name still being ringing? And in the, to the family of Trayvon Martin, they still gotta hear his fucking name every day and hear some bullshit like that when they can't do nothing to get their son back. But yeah, he walking around like his shit happened. Fuck him. Oh, uh, George Zimmerman. Fuck you. That's coming from Richard Cunningham. Fuck Florida laws, man, because that whole stand by your ground is bullshit, man. You know, I have to agree on that. This is Richard Cunningham speaking again. Only because Florida is the only state where I know of that you can literally drown your kids and get away with it. You're talking about that white girl, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, you see what they can do. Yeah, what up? But, and a white man shot at a group of black, black youngins at the, at the, um, Gas station. They came in playing some loud Chief Keef song or something. Hey, turn that hip hop thug shit down. I bet you that's not your first or your last time you're gonna hear some damn hip hop music. <laughs> Bitch. Fuck Chief Keef too. I ain't never heard nothing positive about that. Free little pussy. Alright, you know, let me not say fuck Chief Keef. I don't know. Pre- I, I don't said know. fuck Chief Keef. Free little pussy. I like three songs. That was so but last year. But anyways, I ain't gonna say fuck Chief Keith, but I wish you would do something more like come on man. Like shit, your name is just And getting better at rapping, at least. At least. I used to think Fresh Montana was whack, but at least he seemed like he been better. Well, I can bear him. You know what I'm saying? I actually recite the lyrics back. But um you said other entertainment news anybody will hear? Um in stores down, hops and knock madness. Bone Thugs and Harmony, Art of World War War Three. It's not a real, it's not a real final Bone Thugs and Harmony album, but it got a little, good little underground project. Born in the Ghetto. Please check that song out. But uh, and look out for Trio No Cover mixtape. And that concludes this new segment. I am Richard Cunningham. Go to Trio Three O. Go to Trio Three O One. My YouTube page. You will never know my YouTube page unless I give it to you. But I will give you my Instagram. Reckless Ninja 301. And get a shot of that ass right about there, yo. You wanna see a man card? Fuck everybody. Have a good day. And we're out.